my name is Gabrielle Ruiz. I am an actor. I mean actor as in like, that's my profession. I'm not an actor on YouTube. And I'm also an arts educator and first time working mom. And today I am so excited to talk about a baby carrier that finally works for our family. Now, I say that because there are so many great brands out there. There are so many great ways and aesthetics and looks that people love. And I luckily was gifted about two to three carriers that I've heard about, I only knew what I would think about them once I tried them. And I also purchased one on my own. And I have to say, when Honey Roo sent me their baby carrier, it was mind blowing. Why? I'll show you right now. So here is the unboxing, the quick version. It's this Honey Roo. They're a company out from Texas. The family's name is Sunday, which I wanna say, hey, the Sundays, thanks for sending this to me. And also say hi to H-E-B for me. This is not an ad because I'm from Texas and that's the best grocery store ever. So I wanna just open it up because this is what it looks like when you open up the box. Open it like this. I love the heather gray color. Obviously it is my kind of tones for my aesthetic in my house. I love whites, grays, blacks, and like neutrals. You know what I mean? What it comes with is it's all, every single accessory that I will go through is attached when you open up the box. We're gonna start talking about what the pieces are. Another little piece that comes in the box is the user manual. And I have to say it is very, very friendly, visually friendly. My husband calls instructions destructions. You can't destruct this thing by looking at this manual. That's how easy it is to look at. What I love about it too, is it gives you many, many options through your baby's growing stages and your stages as a parent or a person that's supporting this baby with this carrier. You can use it through multiple stages of this baby's life. I love that. So we're gonna go through all the accessories and all the bits and pieces, cause there are a lot but they're all very user-friendly and easy to detach based on what, what and how you wanna use this baby carrier. The number one thing that totally sets Honey Roo aside from other baby carriers is the magic hip seat, okay? It's not necessarily labeled magic hip seat in the manual, but I call it that because that is what just like blew me away. This hip seat is like an actual, feels a little more like, like a foam cardboard situation. I'm sure the details are, are like on the website of what it's actually made out of, but it feels light and sturdy all at the same time. And this is what your baby like literally sits on. So they have a whole little seat on you while you're carrying them. That's the game changer guys. I was looking for, I was so excited to get Mercedes on this because she didn't like being squished with those like mummy kind of like rapidy rap rap, which I never aced. And then she also didn't like hanging down low on some of those sack things and she just couldn't see. This keeps her really high propped up and I'll show you in a second what that looks like. I'm gonna save your, your appearance, but okay, this is my model. She just wants to say hi real fast before we move on. This is my assistant and model, and also the household baby shark, Mercedes. She is four months, and I can't wait for her to be a part of this video of how she also likes only the Honey Roo baby carrier. We're gonna bring you in later, okay? We're just gonna talk about a few of the accessories. Is that okay? You have in the front, the really pretty stitching of Honey Roo right there. I love their little logo, as well as you can see the name on the chest pocket. That's what it's called. What I love about Honey Roo too, is that there's so many like storage compartments. I don't know about you guys, but like if you ever rent an apartment and it was tiny, if you like live in a, in a city that has like tiny apartments for like a ridiculous amount of cost, what sells it for me is sunlight. If you get good sunlight and good storage, okay? This gives me good storage and I love to take this out in sunlight. So it feels like a mini apartment to me that was worth my bang of buck, right? It has storage right here. You can unzip and zip this moment right here, which is the front of the chest where baby either is in or out, which I'll show you. What I love about it, it's an optional cool down vent. You basically roll it up into itself like so and baby gets a little cooler for the summertime, which I love a lot because I live in California. Here are the Velcro straps, the hooks, and the zipper for this whole chest moment to be connected to the Honey Roo hip seat. 
even on the hip seat with the honey root little logo right here you've got an extra little secret zipper i love it you can stash more things mercedes is like in drool season and drool phase and i can like put a little bib in there or an extra passy i'm not in the sippy cup moment right here but there is a whole sippy cup extra little bottle moment here that you can unhook and put something in there which i'll show you in a second so let's put on the honey room you've got your hip seat right the magic hip seat that i'm like raving about you put it on your actual waistline not your lower hip or not too like high up i call this in my profession my musical theater waist okay but it's your real waist. So it's just wherever you are, if you have a long torso or a short torso, you'll know it's like basically around your boobs where your real belly button is. So you get your waistband and you Velcro it snug as a bug, okay? On their website, there is a tutorial that's probably better than this one, but as a mom, I wanted to show you what a real mom, how, how easy it is when I didn't really read the instructions. It just made complete sense that it fits perfectly here under the boobs this is where the seat is, okay? And you've got your cross straps right here. This is for the person carrying the baby. This is not for baby, which I love because I needed back support. You cross the straps and you grab the buckles, right? You cross the straps and you have these secret little buckles, little connectors right here which I love. Oh my God. Can you see? Look, they're like hidden in here. Okay. Again, neat, really thoughtful, really thoughtfully made. It really clips in here and it easily clips to the left. You cross them at your back. Okay. I feel like a flight attendant when I do this part, when I pull. Okay. Because you can do this to yourself, right? You can actually save yourself with having no one in the house and you're like trying to get this on your body and you're like clipping the back and stuff, I, I couldn't handle it. That's another body baby carrier that didn't work out for us, okay? There's the Velcro and then there is the safety big old snap right there and like the flight attendants, you pull, okay? Now, you got all these strings, right? You got these strings and you got this string. They're all tuckable. That's what they thought. The Sundays thought about it, okay? You basically roll it up like this and you tuck it in. It's gone. How neat and nice is that? I love it. So I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna fold it up and tuck it in, okay? You got this big guy right here. There's a tuck right here, you guys. There are some other baby carriers out there that are like super flimsy and you just have like strings hanging out. Uh, one, I'm a singer uh, professionally and um, I volunteer at my church to sing. And so I, one of my biggest goals looking for a baby seat carrier was to be able to look functional, be able to still support my diaphragm and then also look neat, feel good, you know? And one of the, one of the carriers I had before I got the honey root was just like multiple like strings everywhere. And I was just like, this looks so messy. This looks really, really neat and just like trimmed up. So without this, if you were to unclip this guy, this is the detachable sun and wind cover, which I'll show you with Mercedes, also known Baby Shark today. You've got the chest, the chest band right here with all these pockets and this thing right here. If you were to unhook it, you can use this around the house with baby on you. you what I love about it is you can take off, you can still unzip this crossbody strap. You've got a zip and two snaps. I love that they like kind of over connect it because it makes it feel safer, that you make sure baby is secure once you like let go or whatever. But when you take this baby off and you put baby here, you can wear it for zero to three months, three to six months or four to 18 months as a support, like a support carrier or you're around the house and baby can be facing inward or facing outward. That's when your hands are always on baby. I can imagine if I would have had this honey roux before Mercedes was four months, I would be walking around helping my own self by resting and not like just always holding on to her walking and breastfeeding or like even if there's people over and I wanted to stand with her and just like feel a little more relaxed versus always using my arms I would just have her like on the side facing outward or facing inward and just supporting her in that way so that's what it is to use this Joey classic 
this Joey Classic Honey Roo without this whole chest part. Now we're gonna put Baby Shark in. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Da, da, da. Look at this dorsal fin, it's fantastic. This is not made by Honey Roo, but we could not resist today because she loves it so much. Okay, you ready, baby shark? She straddles the hip seat, and what you do is you grab this chest part right here, and you've got two buttons that are like these little hole snapping things. You press onto them, and you extend the strap. Mercedes loves facing outward, but I just wanna let you know this is an inward. Did you just burp? That was fierce. Okay, so you, what you do is, is you click it in right here. Again, you can do it by yourself at home. You don't need someone to help you to put baby in, which I love. And you strap it in there, right? And you clip it in right here. Right? Yeah. Baby's arms can either be in or out, which I love in. Baby shark, arms out, thank you. And guess what? Flight attendants, you pull to adjust little tighter yeah now mercedes loves facing outward she's never liked facing inward i was so excited when she had more neck support a little more torso strength to be able to face out so baby shark is going to face outward this time and already like my lower back doesn't hurt you guys yeah my lower back feels great baby shark doesn't hurt mommy and i love that part i love the efficiency i can hang laundry i can walk around i can walk the dog while the dog's like pulling on the leash i feel supported and i don't have to feel like she's like hanging away from me she is on top of my weight she is literally like into my body so i don't feel like her weight is making everything harder to do i am a mobile person i am a dancer i like to feel agile and i'm so excited honey room made this baby carrier because it makes me feel like it can still move around. So with these straps right here, baby's arms go over and you snap. These shoulder buckles are so nice and efficient. It's literally, again, by yourself. You press down and it automatically just latches on. We know a latching. We know what a good latch is a good latch. Here's the other one. I'm gonna put Merc in. At this point, I still suggest you still hold on the baby because you still need to adjust the tightness of these shoulder straps. And what I do is I give a little like a lift and a pull. And then I do a little lift and a pull. Now, Merc, my daughter, loves this baby carrier, as you can tell. Right now, usually at this point of any other baby carrier before, she would be whining, she would be crying, and she'd be like, I feel squished. I feel like I'm hanging. I can't feel you. Mom, what, you're, I'm crying because your back hurts. I can feel it. There's also a back carry um, positioning as well as a solo back carry where you can get someone to help you put it on or you can do it yourself. And they literally tell you how to do that. I mean, how awesome is that? Look how, look how, look how amazing, Merck. Isn't that great? So you can check this out on their website. It's on there. All of it's there. And it's just so thoughtfully made. I'm so impressed. And this, out of maybe five other baby carriers, this is number one for our family. Last but not least is this detachable sun wind and, and sun cover. What you do is, I had it on backwards, is you snap it on right here, these two front snaps, and you can cover baby's face, either facing inward or outward for the sun. And what I love about it is these three stra these three stra these three straps can all connect right here on this, right here. This baby carrier, it's the best. It really, really is the best. I'm very, very impressed. Again, the number one thing was for my back. My back doesn't hurt with the Honey Roo. Are we so excited, Baby Shark? I also have a code for Honey Roo. If you would like to get a discount, check it out on the, the link description below and use that code because they are such a great company. I'm so excited they sent this to me. Our back doesn't hurt. We're not upset. We can see the world. And Honey Roo grows with baby. Enjoy the Honey Roo. It's a huge recommendation. I say you should give it a try. I would say like one con for me is if you're a sweater, 
this belt makes me sweat. So I will end up having drips down my back. But I don't think that's a bad thing, moms, when we don't have time to work out. Honestly, I'm okay with a little bit of a sweat. It's summertime. I'm curious what it feels like in the winter. So if you've tried this baby carrier, if you tried this baby carrier in the winter and you don't feel that, put that in the comments below so you can tell me how you're enjoying it in winter season, not shark season. The other only con I would say is like there's no real easy way to like hang up this baby carrier so I would suggest for storage I'm a neat freak when it comes to that kind of stuff or at least I'm still trying to hold on to that as a first time working mom um, I literally like wrap up the straps and then I put it in a basket underneath my refrigerator I have a little mini refrigerator for Mercedes and underneath that is the microwave and then like this catch-all basket of like extra like baby stuff so I would say the only con is I wish I could hang it up and I wish there was like a little hook or something that would help me feel like I can get it off the floor or off a chair, all these like strings and straps everywhere. Um, but again, it's not enough for me not to use it. The Honey Roo is definitely our number one baby carrier. So thanks for watching my Honey Roo baby carrier review. If you came here for the review or you came here for the shark, I'm just so thankful that you were able to check out my channel. You're welcome to subscribe, click on the notifications because I love sharing all the information that I'm learning as a mom because YouTube moms did that for me during my pandemic pregnancy. And I just feel like I can be part of this amazing tribe. And I hope you join me by subscribing. Thanks everyone. We say thanks. Bye.